All right, you guys, check her out. We got our mystery tackle box for the month, and this is the Bass Pro Box. And we're about to crack this dude open and see what's up. What's up, guys? I'm Jim Ansel. This is Real Deal Outdoors. And what we're going to be doing in this video is just a down and dirty unboxing of the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Bass Box for the month of February. <laughs> All right, so before we get into this, I wanna thank Mystery Tackle Box as always for sponsoring this video. They sent me this box. They've been sending me this box for the last couple of years and I really love my Mystery Tackle Box. I've had a lot of fun with Mystery Tackle Box. I've learned about a ton of new products from Mystery Tackle Box over the last couple of years. And one of the cool things about Mystery Tackle Box, and we talk about this quite a bit on this channel, is it forces me to step outside of my comfort zone sometimes. Um, you'll often get lures that you might not pick for yourself in the tackle shop. Uh, that's going to force you guys to learn new techniques. It's going to force you to learn how to use different kinds of lures. Um, you're going to pick up some different tricks that you didn't have in your bag of tricks to begin with. Uh, that only makes you a better angler. And especially if you're a new angler, if you're somebody who's just getting into the sport of bass fishing, uh, Mystery Tackle Box is a great way to introduce yourself and familiarize yourself with all the different kinds of tackle on the market. It's also going to help you to build your tackle box up. You know, a lot of you guys, you're starting out, you don't have a whole lot of stuff. Um, you're going to get a ton of stuff pretty quick with the Mystery Tackle Box. So if you've never subscribed to Mystery Tackle Box before and you would like to try it out, I can help you guys out with that. There's a code down in the description. If you go to the Mystery Tackle Box website, you plug that code in at checkout, you can get your first box for as little as 10 bucks, depending on what tier you pick. And I'll tell you guys right now, that first box is gonna be worth way more than the $10 you're gonna spend on it. Um, you can't go wrong with it, guys. It's, it's a perfect way to get started. Another cool thing about Mystery Tackle Box is there's no obligation. You're not locked into any kind of contract or subscription that's gonna last you throughout the year. Uh, if you do start to receive the Mystery Tackle Box and you decide that it's not for you, you can cancel at any time. So anyway, let's jump into this thing. Let's see what we got for the month of February, 2022. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about each one of these lures. All right, here we go. Let's get this dude open. I'm not gonna cover the paperwork. There's some paperwork in here. Uh, I call it paperwork. Uh, you're gonna get your Dibble Digest. You're gonna get your, uh, your bait card that tells you what all the different baits are in the box and how much each one of those is worth. And you're gonna get your sticker. You're gonna get that stuff in every box each month. Uh, without further ado, let's jump into here and see what kind of lures we got this month. All right, so the first thing that I'm seeing here is we have got a flat banger. All right, so this is the Guggen Squad flat banger. It's a flat sided crankbait, uh, square bill crankbait, and it's a, it's a shallow diver. It's relatively shallow diver, three to six feet. Um, this is gonna be great for you guys to cast up towards the shoreline, bring back to the boat, um, you can slow roll this dude. Uh, square belt crankbaits are really good for being able to slow roll them. They keep a really nice tight wobble. Uh, you're gonna get a lot of reaction strikes off of these lures. Uh, great, great lure. Listen, Guggen Squad makes some really good lures regardless of what you think about the Guggen Squad guys. Um, their fishing lures are fantastic. I've got a ton of their lures uh, in my box. And you know, not just the hard lures, but the, uh, the soft plastic lures as well. Uh, I see a lot of guys trashing the Guggen lures online. Don't listen to what they're saying. Um, they work. The lures work really well. I've, I've never understood the whole thing behind, you know, people have it out for somebody and they just totally, you know, disregard anything that has to do with them. Um, we're in the game of fishing to catch fish, right? These lures catch fish. Plain and simple. I can't put it in any simpler terms for you guys than that. Um, these, these lures are really good lures. They're, they're made by Catchco and I back all the products that Catchco makes. I love their, I love their products. They're just good lures guys. All right. So next thing we've got in here is another lure from the Guggen squad. All right. So this is the gridiron jig. It's also from Guggen lures. Like I just said, um, this is a football jig and this particular one is in PB and J and listen guys, jigs are awesome. They're awesome for pretty much all year. I use jigs. Uh, but this time of year, especially uh, when it's still a little cold, the water is still a little bit nippy. Uh, those bass are still kind of in their winter mode. You know, we're not quite in the pre-spawn yet. They haven't quite woken up all the way. You know, their metabolism is still kind of slow. So they're not looking to chase and they're still kind of hanging out a little bit deep. Uh, these things are going to be great for you guys to throw. 
You can get down to that deep water. You can bring them back really slowly. Um, it, it's just perfect for targeting those wintertime bass. So this is something that you can throw right now and uh, it should work really well for you guys. All right, next up, we have got these. These are called Shad Tees Slim, sparkling green, three inch. All right. All right. And these are from Weston. I've gotten a ton of lures from Weston over the last couple of years from Mystery Tackle Box. They make a really solid lure. Um, good stuff from Weston. I, I really like their products. Um, and these should be no exception. They look like they're going to be fantastic. Really good looking little shads. Um, yeah, man, I, I, I just think these are going to work really well. All right. Next up, we've got another hard lure in here. And this is a Vibration Nitro. Uh, Realis is what it says here, Duo International. And this looks like something from the Japanese domestic market. Guys, Japanese make fantastic fishing lures. Uh, I've gotten a lot of different JDM stuff out of Mystery Tackle Boxes over the last couple of years, and every single one of the lures that I've gotten has been top notch, good stuff. This, of course, is a lipless crank. This is gonna be really good to, uh, to try out with the striper around here. Um, the stripers around here really love a lipless crankbait. And so uh, th I think this is going to come in handy for me over the next couple of months. So that's definitely something cool to try out. All right, moving on along. And I'm being a little more brief than I usually would be in this video. Like I said, this is just a down and dirty real quick deal. Okay, these are cool. All right, check this out, guys. So these are from 13 Fishing, and this is called the Bubble Butt. I'll tell you guys what, man, I've gotten a ton of products from 13 Fishing. Um, you know, I buy a lot of products from 13 Fishing. I love 13. I pretty much exclusively use their rods and reels anymore, and they make fantastic products. Their, their lures are no exception. Um, these look like they're going to be really, really good. Um, the bubble butt, it looks like they've got like an air pocket maybe in this tail, and so the tail is going to float. Uh, says they've got the donkey sauce. They're salt cured. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be great, dude. Um, yeah, listen, 13 Fishing makes some fantastic lures. I can't say enough good things about this, this company. I think this is going to be good on a shaky head. Yeah, this is going to make a really good shaky head worm. So really cool soft plastic here. Um, looking forward to getting these out and trying them. All right. All right. One more thing in the box. And that's going to be our terminal tackle for the month. And what we got here are some laser sharp hooks from Eagle Claw. Uh, looks like these are wide gap worm hooks. That's another thing that I always love about Mystery Tackle Box. They always try to include some kind of terminal uh, to get you up and running right out of the box. And there you go. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for this video. I really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching. Uh, I'm sorry for the, the rushed kind of video that we've got going on here this month. Um, I've just had so much stuff going on that I haven't had time to sit down and make a video this month. Um, nothing new. It's it's kind of been just one thing after another for the last six or seven months. And uh, it's made it really hard to keep up with the YouTube channel. But we're working on it. We're working on it. I promise you guys we're working on it. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you smash that thumbs up button. That's going to help me out a ton with the algorithms on YouTube, uh, and I really appreciate that. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do so. Uh, go down there and hit that subscribe button, and then there's a little bell next to that. That is going to give you guys notifications anytime that I post new content. Uh, so I'd really appreciate if you guys would click that and turn that on as well. Uh, and finally, drop down in the comment section. Leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what your favorite lure was out of this month's box. Uh, tell me what you guys might have got in your box because we don't all get the same box, contrary to popular opinion. Um, there are a few different boxes that are floating around each month, and I love to see and hear uh, what some of you guys got in your boxes. So uh, anyway, thank you guys again for watching. Uh, we're going to have some more videos for you guys real soon. Uh, it's just been a struggle. There's There's been some personal things going on, some family stuff going on, um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's you hear it. Just about every time I post a video, it's the same old song and dance. I'm not just making excuses up. It's really just been that bad the last several months. So uh, again, thank you all for watching. Thank you for your patience. And I'll see you in the next one.